Hey folks, welcome back, Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick recap of units, prefixes, and scientific notation. Now, a lot of this will be recap from the National 5 course, but it's worth looking at anyway. So to kick things off, let's start looking at this table of SI units. Now, a lot of these you'll be used to using in the National 5 course, namely the first five. The last two we haven't really used before. Um, but if we look at these, we've got length measured in meters. So anytime we measure a length or a distance of something, it's in meters. A mass is always in kilograms, not grams. And time is always measured in seconds, not minutes, not hours. We also saw that in National 5 Electricity, the uh, current was measured in amperes or amps for short, uh, and temperature was measured in kelvins. We did also get uh, degrees Celsius temperatures though. Um, and the last two there, amount of substance is measured in the mole, and the luminous intensity is measured in something called the candela. We don't really come across those two though uh, in the higher course. So just as a reminder, uh, you should always have units following a numerical answer when you're doing calculations. So failure to include units will cost you marks. And it's worth just reminding you about that because we still see loads and loads of pupils uh, forgetting to put in units, even in higher. So moving on, you'll remember that we use prefixes and scientific notation a lot in physics. So prefixes, remember, are just used uh, before units in order to write them down in a shorthand way. So rather than writing down loads and loads of numbers as a final answer, we can use prefixes instead. Or in questions, instead of putting in really big numbers in questions for you to answer, they use prefixes instead. So what you need to be able to do is change prefixes that you see before units into numbers. So the way we do that is we use scientific notation. So the only difference between this table and the National 5 one is that there's been two more prefixes added, one at either end of the table. So just to begin, we'll look at centi. So centi was the kind of odd one out there because it's a power of two. Um, so 30 centimetres as an example is 30 times 10 to the minus two metres and you should be used to using centimetres and metres and things like that. Uh, if we move up the way this time, you'll see the powers of three patterns. So we've got 10 to the 3, 10 to the 6, 10 to the 9, and 10 to the 12. So those are for kilo, mega, and giga, remember. And the new one is tera. So we tend to use tera when we're talking about energies and particle collisions, when we're talking about particle accelerators and the Large Hadron Collider. So you'll see an example is 7 tera electron volts is 7 times 10 to the 12 electron volts, which is just a different unit of energy rather than joules. Um, if we move down the way this time, you'll see that we have uh, 10 to the minus 3 is milli, uh, 10 to the minus 6 is micro, 10 to the minus 9 is nano, and then the new one is pico, which is 10 to the minus 12. So sometimes we use pico when we're talking about capacitance of a capacitor and the electricity topic for higher. So an example would be 9 pico farads is 9 times 10 to the minus 12 farads, and that's your unit of capacitance, which you'll see when you do electricity. Just a reminder that the SI unit that we saw on the previous page was kilograms for mass and not grams. So there's no need to convert this kilo part for the kilograms. Okay, we use kilograms all the time. Uh, and also watch out for MS, that's milliseconds, not meters per second. So just be aware of the slight difference between those two. And just lastly, a quick word on scientific notation. So just to give you a reminder, remember we use scientific notation as a quick way of writing down lots of numbers. Okay, so you've got this example here is 5 million, can be written as 5 times 10 to the 6 in scientific notation. And uh, similarly, a really small number like 0 0.000005 can be written as 5 times 10 to the minus 6 in scientific notation. That's all from me, folks. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.